Shalom actually uh, speaks about the foundation. He actually sp speaks about in his book of the Shuvavim. He speaks about that the Torah is a foundation. It's called the Yisod. And he uh, speaks within regards to uh, the book of the Pirkei Avot, the Mishnah, the Pirkei Avot, and talks about in chapter one that the world stands on three things. That is on Torah, Avodah, and Gimulot, Chasadim. Three different things. I'll translate that. Torah is naturally uh, the Torah, the precious Bible that we've got. The Avodah, when it's talking about Avodah here, workings, it's talking about Tefillah, prayer. That's another thing that the world stands on. And the third thing is Gimulot Chasadim, doing acts of kindness. It could be within regards to charity. It could regards to be helping someone, helping the poor, helping a sick person or whatever it might be. And then Netivot Shalom very much stresses inside his book that when people might falter within regards to uh, the transgressions, within regards to how you know people could have uh, guarded their eyes throughout the year, what they saw, what they didn't see, what they might have seen, if they stumbled within regards to different transgressions, within regards to, let's say, the Tikkun Brit and all those different uh, things, which are very much... Uh, uh, during this Shavuvim time period, people are repenting. It is all part of the foundation of the person. And these three things that Netibot Shalom is talking about, the Torah, Gimelot Chasidin, and Avodah, can actually compensate and rectify in different uh, forms within the Gasset. Firstly, I must also say many people during this time period, the pious people, the righteous people, they take on many fasts and uh, very, very many different uh, forms of Teshuvot within regards to this. However, this is like a foundation that definitely does uh, very much help for simple people like uh, many of us in a modern day. So what is it? So, for example, within regards to Torah, why is Torah one of the three things that uh, is important within regards to the foundation is Yisod? First of all, the word foundation means Yisod, and that's a word that is used in Sadi Mishnah and Pirkei Avot. The word Yisod is, it's actually mentioned when it talks about these three things. So Torah, what, why is that important to do? Obviously, we know Torah, it's a Tamu Torah Kneget Kulam, there's this aspect. And we know how important it is every day. There should be a Kibiyot in Torah. But why is that this learning Torah so important within regards to this transgression? Let's just talk about which we're talking about. So when someone, let's say, within regards to the transgression of uh, wasting seed, Tikkun Brit. You know, it's coming from the brain originally when uh, someone stumbles within regards to this uh, transgression. It's the thoughts of the brain that could have caused it. And then it results in obviously potentially has the great, greatest ability uh, to reproduce. And uh, one of the biggest mitzvot in the Torah is reproduction is to uh, from this. However, at the same time, when it's a wasted, it's it's a severe transgression, which is related in the code of Jewish law. Uh, very, very. And uh with, if one is going to learn Torah, one that it is an antidote to it because the Torah it comes when you're you're using your brain as opposed to within regards to the transgression that might have come to it. When you're learning the precious Torah, you're delving in the deepest uh, minds within your brains, and it's like a, it's like a mikveh, it's like a purifies the thoughts when someone is delving in Torah constantly, and that's why it's so important. With regards to rectifying this thing, the Torah, one is delving in so many hours a day, you know, just uh, immersed totally, because this is an antidote to what people think, to what people think about and pure thoughts and uh, Jewish holiness and purity is very, very much important. And that definitely will uh, rectify if someone had stumbled with regards to that. But how about Avodah, what we're talking about here, about prayer? Prayer obviously helps all time. We know we should daven three times a day on a natural day, uh, Shachrit. Mincha and Arvit, but why is prayer within regards to this so important? So, yeah, obviously it is because the tears we have in our, our prayer, the tears that come out of the eyes, uh, especially the Netibot Shalom says, is that, that rectifies for all the tra the transgressions because it's coming from the heart over here. And uh, one means it, and the more one delves in the prayer and the tefillah and they mean it, and, uh, you know, they say teshuva, can, you can always do it even till the deathbed. Teshuvah, uh, repentance in general. And when one is delved in praying in the uh, deepest levels of prayer and with the tears and everything else, which one has to have that regret from uh, this stumbling within regards to this topic, that also can help rectifying this. Another thing is Gimlut Chasadin, kindness, acts of kindness. What, 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 why is that important? Because acts of kindness, that does also can have the possibility 
of uh, atoning for these transgressions, making some, for example, helping people, giving uh, charity, a vast amount of money to the poor. You know, also Chesed could be speaking about this topic to other people, coaching people with regards to rectifying this, you know, uh, this uh, specific topic. It could be uh, helping the poor. It could be smiling at other people and speaking nicely to other people, wishing them a good day and all those things. It's actually no coincidence. Uh, in the Mesechet Tanit, in the page Chafet in 22, in the Talmud, it actually relates that Eliyahu Navi came to the marketplace and asked, who from this great big marketplace is going to make it to Olam Abba? So Eliyahu Navi was looking around and one might think, yeah, obviously the big rabbi, the big Diane or the doctor, the professor, they've got the greatest chance because they've got the greatest impact. So he said, these two people, these two clowns over here, those are the two people that will make it uh, to Olam Abba. So the startle, the man comes with Eliyahu Navi, Eliyahu the prophet, and goes to them and says, what do you two guys do? You're dressed up as clowns. You're, you're going to be destined to go to Olam Abba. So they say, we are comedians and we'd like to cheer people up in the marketplace. We see two people in an argument and uh, we try and cheer them up and make them feel good about themselves. And that, and because of that, you know, the Eli, Eliyahu the prophet, Eliyahu Anabi says, they will make it to Olam Haba because of that great amount of kindness that they did. So, you know, it just shows the power of having a good morning, a smile, to someone else, obviously, in uh, Tsunoa way we're talking about, is has also a powerful effect. So these three things, you know, it's, uh, can help in rectifying, but there's many, many different things. If one look, can Google on it with regards to Shovavim, read the book of the Nitzvah Shalom, I would very much uh, say that is uh, very important, you know, with regards to, there's websites out there with regards to, uh, one can, uh, with regards to this topic, with guarding the eyes, one wants to become more holy, one wants to become more pure with their thoughts, what they see, and everything else. These are very important things, you know, it's, these are transgressions which are talked about uh, in the heart, in the very, very uh, strong terms in the Torah. You know, we don't want to bring this up the whole time, but, uh, you know, it's something, it's irresponsible not to bring up this topic also, and that one's got it all also do it with sensitivity and uh, obviously uh, relating it in a very uh, in a very private but in a very uh, okay, okay manner also which is and I want to add another thing within regards to, there was a great rabbi there was a rabbi Rabbi Yisrael Abu Khatsera popularly known as a Baba Sali he uh, was from Morocco originally and lived in Israel and that was a very great rabbi that performed so many miracles so a few rabbis came to him one time and they said to the Baba Sali, you know, uh, what you, you're able to perform all these great miracles and everything else. We also, we great shop on him. We're learning Torah the whole time. Why can't we necessarily, uh, what's your secret over here? Why are you able to perform it? And we necessarily, uh, we also can't, cannot do it. We also come from great shop on him. Some of the rabbis said to him, we have great lineage of Rabbanim. So if it's, we're talking about that people come from great Rabbanim that are able to do all these miracle things. We've got it also, he said, to, they say to the Baba Sali, these great rabbis. If it's talking about learning Torah the whole day and giving drashot, Torah sermons, we're also doing it. 18 hours a day we're learning, you know, what's your secret? So the Baba Sali says that he watches everything he sees the whole time. He always looks at every, he, he watches everything, he's careful with everything he sees the whole time, the whole of his life. So it's one of the biggest lots within regards to this is we watch what we see, we be careful. And we, I, I speak about myself and, uh, you know, we're simple people. You know, we've got to be careful what we uh, necessarily see inside uh, this world within regards to, uh, because, you know, Hashem gave us this uh, matana, this present, and we should use it within regards to in the correct manner. And, uh, you know, one, uh, you know, and this applies both to men and women. I remember talking about when I was younger and everything else. And uh, I remember back in the day, there was uh, people that, uh, you know, just looking back from university, people had egos, how they dressed to impress the whole time. People, especially men, how they dressed and everything else. And, uh, you know, how, you know, they look at they could look at women in the wrong way, not in the, look at the spiritual meaning of the person, but look at them just as a physical uh, physical person. You know, just looking, just judging them on that. And it could be women flirting with uh, guys dressed, uh, you know, totally to entice or whatever it might be. Which is also a, a a woman would have to do repentance for within regards to this topic also. 
because it's uh, very, very severe. It's also talked about in the different uh, holy books also. You know, so the, this is a topic, this is a time period, the Shuvavim, where men, both men and women can work on themselves, you know. Women should encourage their husbands or their partners to uh, be more careful, you know, to uh, to learn more Torah, to do more acts of chesed, to do uh, more tefillah, to pray more. And the women can also build a, a home of a great amount of Torah, you know, built on Sunniot, send the, their, their children to uh, Torah Orthodox schools that promote uh, a good Torah lifestyle, uh, strong in uh, learning Torah, Gimelot uh, Chasadim, and also in uh, Tefillah, where they're praying the whole days. You know, this can very much, and the woman is a rock for the man within regards to this, within regards to promoting this. And, you know, it's a sensitive topic, but it's a very important topic also to speak about in modern day. And it's the Shovavim time period. So I very much recommend uh, reading the book of the Nitzvah Shalom. And there's a lot to read potentially online. There's a book from uh, Rabbi Tzvi Miller, who passed away a few months ago, unfortunately. And he wrote a very, very good book called The Windows to the Soul or Windows of the Soul, which is in English, which is a 30 day diary within regards to how a man uh, working in the workplace, worked, in, worked on himself within regards to this, let's say, this uh, topic uh, connected to Shovavim for 30 days and uh, <clears throat> the results that the, that specific person had. So, guys, I want to wish you all an awesome day and everything else. Be blessed and uh, best wish you. maybe we all meet chazek ourselves, strengthen ourselves with whatever is with our avodat Hashem, with our Torah, with our tefillah. And also with our acts of kindness, and we work on this topic, and we, we t encourage other people also within regards to this topic to work on ourselves. And uh, I want to wish you all a blessed day and uh, Shabbat Shalom.